let's go. Just last week, we mentioned that Jesse Pinkman and Brian Cranston were cooking in Miami during the Super Bowl week. Well, more likely they were mixing their mezcal dos hombres. And now on Architectural Digest, the YouTube channel came out episode where they visited Aaron's Paul Riverside house in Idaho. And check this out. Hey, AD. Of course, house is dope, but look at this. He makes mezcal negroni and infuses it with smoke himself, right there in the kitchen. I'm gonna make a Oaxacan old fashioned. It's very easy to make. She yeah, got me this cocktail me. smoker, and I just, I love it so much. And it gets some smoke in there. This kind of wood is apple wood. And you just sit here for 10 minutes until it's ready. Cheers, my sweet angel. Cheers, babe. Cheers, you. So he definitely picked up some decent bartending skills after hanging out with uh, some of the best bartenders all over the country. If you tried those sombres mezcal, let me know in the comments what it's like from zero to 10. I really would love to know. But I personally can't wait to try that smoked Negroni. So Aaron Paul, feel free to invite me, man. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Since we're talking about mezcal and celebrity, here's another one. Uh, George Masvidal from Miami partners with Record Mezcal. Have you heard about that mezcal? No, right? Me either. So moving to the next news. There was a lot of beer commercials during Super Bowl and I wanted to review the best one. I think absolute winner was the Post Malone commercial by Bud Light. They push a new Bud Light seltzer and it was so funny to watch. It called Inside Post Brain. So he walked into the store to get a Bud Light and they're basically control center inside his brain. They can't decide to get Bud Light or Bud Light sensor. Let's take a look really quick. It's absolutely hilarious. Wait, Bud Light made a seltzer? I wonder what it tastes like. Only one way to find out. Wait, 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 wait. Post Malone doesn't drink seltzer. We drink Bud Light. Everybody knows that. Why not try something new? Bud Light. Seltzer. Bud Light. Seltzer. Bud Light. Uh, well, season one was much better than season two. Guys, guys, we're incredibly rich. Let's get both. Let me know if I missed something, but I think that was the best commercial during Super Bowl. Let me know in the comments, I really would love to hear what I missed. And there was prequel to that ad too, so if you want to watch them, I will leave both links in the description, they're only 60 seconds, so it's totally worth checking them out. Oscar ceremony was on Sunday and Guillermo from Jimmy Kimmel show was at the red carpet and he was giving banana tequila shots to like lots of celebrities. Well, it wasn't, it was Don Julio inside the banana, not actual banana tequila. His joke were pretty edgy. I always keep tequila in my banana. <laughs> Would you like a drink out of my banana? No, that sounds foul. But then he pulled an iPhone where it says tequila calling. Hello. No, yeah, what, 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 what I can't hear you. That actually was pretty cool flask with Don Julio tequila inside. I'm pretty sure some of you are already looking for this thing, but I couldn't find anywhere, so help me to find this flask. Let me know in the comments where I can find it and if there is any cool flask shapes, I should look into it. But the tequila column was pretty awesome. Dan Bilzerian, yes, that Dan Bilzerian, started Ignite Vodka. He posted about it recently on his Instagram. And I personally think it's amazing news. We worked before at the Dan Bilzerian's events. By the way, let me know in the comments if you want to know more about it and how to work on super premium events. I will make a separate episode about it and explain to you how to get this kind of gigs. I can believe they didn't come up with vodka before because they're so great at marketing Ignite brand and always do parties that everybody wants to be part of. Uh, just on his Instagram, he have more than 30 million followers. So this is ridiculous. Again, it's like so easy for him to advertise anything. Of course, there is so much competition in vodka brands. Uh, Tito's just became number one vodka brand in the US. So we spoke about it in a previous episode. You can actually watch it here if you missed it. So it's just a few minutes, but lots of really cool news. But they have such a great team and I strongly believe that they will succeed very, very quick and maybe even become as popular as uh, Didi's Vodka Ciroc and they will be become one of the biggest vodka brands. Come back next week for a lot more news and we'll recap uh, some of the best cocktails that were made during a Valentine's Day. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button since it's helped my channel a lot and I will see you in the next video.